Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's discuss on the title Integrated Feature Extraction Using Gabber Filter and Recursive Support Vector Machine for Fingerprint Identification and Verification. Regarding the abstract, in this paper we propose a new method for fingerprint identification based on Gabber Filter in RSVM. RSVM is nothing but Recursive Support Vector Machine Algorithm. GABA filters have both frequency selective and orientation selective properties and have optimal joint resolution in both spatial and frequency domains. Therefore, it is appropriate to use GABA filter as bandpass filter to remove noise and preserve true region value structures. Our main idea is recursively driving new maximum margin features by discarding all information represented by old maximum margin features. In fact, this dimensionality reduction approach that is RSVM is based on an intuitive idea that not a single but a small number of maximum margin components is sufficient to account for as most of the differences in classification. Our proposed method consists of four steps which include decomposing the fingerprint images and normalizing them to a constant mean and variance, applying GABA filter in different directions and with a constant frequency, applying RSVM algorithm for extracting more discriminant features, image classification using k-nearest neighbor classifier. Let's discuss on the data flow diagram. In data flow diagram, we will be discussing two steps, one is training phase, another one is testing phase. In training phase, you have to consider multiple fingerprint images from multiple persons. For example, you can consider FEC 2002 database. You have to extract the GABA feature for all the fingerprints that are in the database. In the database, one person itself will be represented with eight different fingerprints taken at different orientations. Next, you have to subject the extracted features which are of larger dimension to a dimension reduction algorithm called as RSVM dimension reduction algorithm. This dimension reduced features will be used for training the K nearest neighbor classifier. Finally, depending upon the training, the samples which are used for training will be subjected to KNN classifier to analyze the result, that is to analyze the percentage accuracy. Next session will be verification phase. Verification is nothing but you will be selecting a probe image as an input and you will be extracting one feature that is GABA feature for that particular fingerprint and which are the features that are selected using RSVM will also be indexed here to take a subset of the feature and it will be subjected to KNN classification algorithm for verification. This KNN classification algorithm will project then the ID of the input sample. Let's watch the execution of the program. Regarding the execution of the program, select fingerprint main.m file and press run file. A design mode window will appear. In this window, the training path and testing path are implemented separately. For training, import the data set. The image ID will be displayed here and the appropriate feature extracted will be shown in this particular table. There are some 85 images taken from FEC 2002 database. It consists of normal images as well as distorted images. And each person will be represented by 8 samples. It may take some time to extract the feature. This will display the quality metric value of the table and the feature extraction will be displayed in this particular table. Now this is the feature extraction. For all the 80 images, the GABA features will be calculated and it will be shown in figure 1. After being executed, you will be subjecting the extracted features to RSVM algorithm where a dimension reduced features will be obtained. So this is the table appropriately the GABA feature extraction will be filling on this may also take some time for execution and uh, this particular figure represents the GABA kernel feature in uh, 4 by 3 ma 4 by 3 matrix that is 4 scales and 3 orientations each of the scale orientations will be displayed for all the images in the database 
finally you will be dealing with a verification and analysis step to calculate the training performance of a classifier and in testing stage you will be selecting one single input from the training data which is already authenticated you will be extracting the features for that and you will be identifying the person whether he is in the database or not so this fingerprint verification and identification will be done at a stretch both the training and testing processes will be presented in the same guy the analysis such as false acceptance ratio genuine acceptance ratio and uh, false rejection ratio will be calculated and that will be shown in the separate guide following the program execution finally a graphical representation will be shown for your understanding after completing the feature extraction algorithm you have to implement RSVM dimension deduction procedure and this is the total number of features that is seven columns will be represented as features in dimensional reduction only two features will be selected to represent all the AP samples and you have to do the verification step this is the verification confusion matrix where uh, 10 persons have been selected for each one eight samples are being selected and the accuracy is 93.75 percentage and this is the analysis this is the graph displaying the true that is genuine acceptance rate and the false acceptance rates for all the 10 persons that is this is symbolically called as ROC receiver operating characteristic curve separately done for each person considering each person to be a class and this is the performance analysis table the true positive false positive false negative and true negative values for all the persons and Finally, the FRR, FAR and GAR for all the persons has been computed. Now coming back to the program, you have to test the input. Select an image from the image folder and select the seventh image. It should represent that it belongs to person 1. So extract the feature for that particular image and text box displays or message box displayed. That is test image features has been extracted and finally identify this is the first person so this is the system that has been represented for fingerprint verification and identification so in the proposed method the features are extracted using GABA filter and it is dimensionally reduced using RSVM algorithm features extracted by GABA filter are usually high dimensional in order to reduce the dimension and also to extract more discriminant features we use RSVM algorithm the RSVM can out outperform the traditional one-dimensional SVM as it concentrates on extracting multi-level maximum margin features. Thank you.